it's crutchy and i'm back with another magic the gathering arena video we're gonna do another challenge uh the challenge is always just we pick between standard historic or brawl and when we do brawl we'll have to figure out one but brawl is three and random dot org doesn't often land on threes now that i said that it would but a quick note uh stay tuned because I've made three decks that I'm hoping will be able to last the test of time as more sets come out and upgrade them. Uh, I'll give you a sneak peek at the right to sack. Each of these has a like builder level to it. Uh, so basically right to sack is, hey, I threw this deck together. It's mostly commons and uncommons and it, it is actually all commons and uncommons except for brutal cathar uh and what i'm trying to do is make it so that okay as we move along and we get more adjusted with standard uh, i think that white and black is a, an unstoppable combination and the only way to really stop white black i feel like is a control deck so a good place to start so with that in mind i'm going to go ahead and start the random challenge but if you wouldn't uh mind staying tuned okay so two so we're going to be playing historic that's great uh <laughs> can i concede oh thank god i can concede in historic that'll be great out of all five colors how many colors am i playing with great okay what are the colors that I'm playing with? If you let me go ahead and just get get to where we are right now. So we are in historic. I'm not playing alchemy. I'm okay. I don't need another format in my life. That's the reason that I don't play alchemy. Anybody can play alchemy if they want, but truly for me, I, I just don't need another format in my life. So in historic, we can only play with one color uh, let's see what color we're going to be playing with. So white is one, blue is two, black is three, red is four, and green is five. So let's go ahead and figure out. Okay, we're making a mono red deck. I actually, this is blowing my mind because <laughs> I actually made a mono red deck, um, but I forgot that my girlfriend and I had plans. And so I forgot to save the deck like i had the footage and i might still have the footage but i completely forgot to save the deck so it just it doesn't actually exist so um making a new one i guess <laughs> how many cards am i allowed to craft i opened a bunch of packs that i had just been winning i mean i was at like twenty thousand, and i had collected like 10 packs so i opened a bunch of packs so i have enough wild cards now i believe i have so I can craft five. Okay. I have quite a few wild cards. Not as many as I would enjoy. But so whenever I make a mono red deck in... You know what? Let's go back over to random. Can I make a deck that I've already made before and just fine tune it? So I could. Okay. I don't think I will though. I'm going to go ahead and try and do... What is the ability that checks if creatures are, whatever, is it modified? Because reconfigure is how you, yeah, reconfigure is how you get your, um, no, okay. I just need to, let me see. Is it modified? Mod. <laughs> come on, arena, come on, arena. Uh, I would like to re-implement speed builds into these videos. It's a little hard when, um, you know, historic, I know the format a little bit better just because I've played against these cards for such a long time. But when it comes to standard, doing a speed build is a little harder. Okay, yeah, so it is it is modified, I believe. Activate only if you control an attacking modified creature. Yeah, so it is it is modified that checks if things are modified. Um, mm -hmm. There are some good... There are some good cards in Mono Red for this. I can only craft five cards, though. X damage to target creature or planeswalker if you control a modified creature as you cast a spell deals 
X plus two damage instead. This is genuinely a good card. I only have nine uncommons, so I'm not going to use it. <laughs> uh, to target creature planeswalker, deals two damage to that permanent controller if you control a modified creature. You know what? We'll grab it. Let's grab it. We're going to be focusing a lot on getting counters and things like that. Modified creatures you control have menace. When this card enters the battlefield, you may discard a card. If you do, seek a card with mana value equal to that card's mana cost. That's pretty dang good. Wow, that is actually really good. And am I about to craft four copies of that? I really shouldn't. Ay, ay, ay. That's really good. That's really good. Oh, yo. I love the pompadour, my friend. I love the pompadour. Okay. So, we're just going to go ahead, try and keep a modified theme deck. Uh, what that means for me is, let me grab the rune. There's one rune, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, this is actually not a bad card either. It gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Does damage equal to the number of wolves and werewolves you control to target opponent. Honestly, wait a minute. Why is that card not in... Okay, hold on. I don't think I don't think Mono Red Wolves is bad in historic. I just learned something today. Let me just kind of <laughs> let me just kind of look at some cards here. I just I just learned something that I didn't know before. Truly the only problem with this deck is that Arlen Accord is green. That is the only problem with Mono Red Werewolves. Wow, that card is pretty good. Okay. In a wolf deck. In a wolf deck. That card is not very good outside of a wolf deck, but okay. We're going to go right back into it. I, I did not realize that it was like that. I apologize. The Barbarian class. I don't know if we're going to do Barbarian class. We could easily do the Bitterspit Gremlin. Cartouge isn't a bad idea. I'm going to try and not claim the Firstborn as an actual, like, fun art right there is pretty great. I could honestly use that card. Could make Dragon Themes with Modified. Uh, attach a type creature you control. You know, we... Am I about to make an aura deck? Hold up! I forgot. I completely forgot that... Escape Velocity existed. I completely forgot that Escape Velocity existed. And I can also use my old boy, Storm Herald, here. So you get a combat on your turn for each ore and equipment attached to it. Create a 3 1. Those creatures. Okay. That's not very good. Plus 3 plus 2 has haste and attacks each combat if able. Okay. Okay. I love this card because it, come it comes in and it blips stuff, and people are not used to that. Aura. I'm looking for things that are checking for auras. I'm not necessarily in need of just auras. To enchanted creature. That's not too bad. So, okay. We're definitely probably going to be looking more towards like an artifact thing, right? More of an... Mm. Mm, this is rough to kind of think about because I really do. I would love to just spend all of my rares on some BS <laughs> mono red aura deck. I would, I would love that so much. So why don't we just do a little bit of that? How many of these do I have? Nine? Give me three of this guy. All right. So I can craft two more. They're going to have to be uncommons though. So, as long as Enchanted Permanent is a creature, it gets plus two, plus one. So, Dragon Mantle I would rather have. 
Dragon Man's was just a little bit better. But we're going to grab the Escape Velocity. Alright, so that was fine. <laughs> I have no idea why I've just decided to make a mono red or a deck. Um, I'm just trying to find Intervention, and I thought that spelling less of Intervention would help me find Intervention better, but it has not in any way. So, is there any red card that cares about enchantments? Enchant. Is there any red card that cares about how many enchantments you have? Okay. This is pretty good. I can make a bunch of tokens, right? Like, I could just... I could put four copies of this in and make a bunch of tokens. And we would be set. I'm... <laughs> this isn't a bad card. Whenever a non-token modified creature you controls dies, create a 1-1 one, one color spirit token. Okay. I could make five and I made three. Shit. That's not good. I needed this guy more than I needed that. We're going to do that. We need the tokens. So we can no longer make any more cards, but I needed the goddamn tokens. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Nope. I'm looking here. We're not going to have anything with power less than one more than likely sacrifice an artifact or creature yeah we're looking for something that counts enchantments if we can there's a top card library may play that card this turn oh honestly that's not too bad equal to the devotion to red whenever yeah, I need him in the deck for sure. Declares war. Tap any number of untapped artifacts you control. When you do, deals damage. We don't have too many artifacts. We have more enchantments. Each non link card in your graveyard has escape. The escape cost is equal. At the beginning of the end step, sacrifice, underworld, breach. That's all for like your turn goes in one go right if you control a creature with power four or greater exile the top card of your library you may play that card until you exile another card with furious rise mm -hmm. yeah i mean we do enough damage if anything we're gonna need to put shocks in i don't think that it's gonna be that bad though with power two or less attacks no i know the shrines count enchantments right target creature gains trample and plus x plus six zero target creature you control fights with a target creature you don't control i just don't like the fight trigger there like we're in red i might as well just blip it you know until under turn your opponent's attack each combat of able each tap creature deals damage to itself equal you know what you know what i'm gonna grab some storms wraths and i think we're probably gonna be done like i'm gonna grab some storms wraths uh what the fuck is he that should be fine i'm gonna grab just some storms wraths and some shocks Because Stormwrath does four damage. I like it a lot. Normally you can outdo the four damage, right? And we're gonna grab some shocks. Shack! Grab my shocks, baby. Oh, I have these? That's cool. Alright, well, that's the deck. Let's take a good look at it. This is my mono red auras. The amount of auras we are playing is not really that great. Honestly, I could be playing a lot more, but we have some good damage. We have this boy that cares. We have modified things that care about being modified, things that care about being enchanted, right? 
That all goes over here, and Storm's Wrath goes over here. So, okay. We have Kami's Flare. We do have Shock as well. Shock needs to be in this. Why is it not? Oh, because it's that kind of an art. It can't go under something. Okay. I, I appreciate the programming, guys. I really do. Like, things like this, these weird little things like this, shows that they really put something in somewhere. So, this flare does three damage to target creature or planeswalker. Uh, if I have a permanent that is modified, which will be very easy to do, it deals two damage to the controller. I have some Storm's Wrath, and I have Perforos's Invitation intervention uh Perforos's intervention is a very good card you can see that i love damage from theros pretty well theros and i got along pretty well honestly what i could really use is a artifact hold up wait a minute let me get some equipment in it we're gonna get some artifacts here um the best one Ooh, this guy's actually really good for this deck. Hold on. We're going to have to remake some of this deck. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I, I also would like my Ember Cleave, wherever the hell that bitch is. Ember Cleave. Do I want Ember Cleave or do I want my God of Fury? I think I want my God of Fury over Ember Cleave. So I'll take an Ember Cleave and two of him. Okay, modified creatures is what we're kind of checking for there. Er, we only have one copy of this guy. He's not really going to do too much for us. We can go down a rune. Go down this boy. And then we probably want to just go down the Ikora's, the Iora's Blessing, right? Because we have the Storm's Wrath. We could go down to two Storm's Wrath. We have quite a bit of destruction just with Perforos and Shock. I didn't know I had three copies of Reinforced Ronin. It's kind of my whole problem with this, what I'm trying to figure out right now. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use this guy. And I made him specifically for this deck. I don't even know if he's going to stay in the deck. I don't even really need this card either. <laughs> I'd rather go down this card than this card. Okay. Shit, I forgot to show you the final look. But we'll we'll get to look at it in game. I need to move this along. We're already at 17 minutes. I'm not going to play uh, more than a couple of games regardless. So, Mono Red Auras, baby. If you're a fan of the channel, you've seen me attempt to make this deck before. Um... And that's why I have the rule. Can I make a deck that I made before? It said that I could, so I did. Did it say that I could? I think so. Well, either way. <laughs> so what I really love about um, Mono Red Auras is that it's just so, like, people just never see it coming. They see Mono Red and they're like, oh, okay, yeah. I, I know this stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, they're playing Rune. Uh, but then you start playing stuff that they don't recognize, and they're just kind of like, why? Why is this a thing? Why is somebody doing this to me? Mono Red Auras, are you kidding? And that's my favorite opponent to come across. This guy seems like he's playing five colored shrines, maybe. Or five colored good stuff, either way, right? Um, two to equip. Unattach it, does three damage to any target. God, I love that card so much. Uh, they're probably gonna blip whatever I play, right? So let me, let me play this. They're probably just gonna blip whatever I play. So what I really wanna do is make it so that I can drop in Iora's Blessing and then keep my gas in my hand. Mono Red Auras is not the same. Yes. It is a Shrine's deck, so we should be relatively okay. Just big board wipes, and that's it. We're going to attach that to that. Nice. And then we're going to attach it to him. And we're going to get in. Because I have to discard a card, so I'm going to want to discard this aura. Just in case I draw my friend. 
We don't have any enchantment destruction, so... Sucks that in the first test game we get placed against shrines, because it's like, what the hell are we supposed to do, you know? But also, not the end of the world by any means. On your turn... Definitely drop this boy. What? For each... Oh, it all has to be attached to him? Son of a bitch. Uh... Yeah. No. We're not gonna... We're just gonna have to fucking... No, I don't wanna... I wanna tap him. And there we go. I don't really want that on the field. At the beginning of your instep, you may pay one if you do create a, you know. No, I'm good. Discard a card. I'll discard shock. All we have to do is get our hand out. And that card is no longer a problem for us. Yikes. Wait, did this come out in Dominaria? Nah. -uh. Maybe older Dominaria, not this Dominaria. Okay. Gotta play this, right? Gotta put this guy down first. Gotta put this down. Wanna get the shock off. Okay. No tax. No discard. I would rather not have cards for him to throw away. That's a really good I mean he's he's got it, right? Like he's gonna win. He's got all the shrines he needs. I do not have enough damage. That's pretty good, honestly. That was a pretty good get, I'm not gonna. Cause we're gonna get in like this. Right? Yep. All good, all good. Not worried about it at all. We're going to attach it here. Makes me dis card and annex all good the really fun thing about shrines is that they end up like I don't know they end up with all the mana in the world but then they end up with cards that they can't play because a lot of the shrines are legendary right so they end up like with a handful of shit that they can't do anything with after a while yeah we're just gonna pass turn here until they play a creature card, we're not too worried about it. What does this do? Hmm. Destroy target creature with toughness X or less, where X is the number of shrines you control. Okay. How much can he pay? One, two... What is this guy's problem? Bro, you're the one playing shrines. Chill out, my guy. <laughs> what the fuck? People, man. They crack me up. I'm gonna do that. Gets rid of Anrax. Deals damage to the other boy. Oh, to me? Okay. Put this back down. We'll put it on him. Okay, guy. I mean, you're go, right? That's what I say here to be sassy and petty. <laughs> 
Like, what are, what are we doing here? We're playing mono red auras versus shrines, my friend. There's not too much that's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, yeah, mm-hmm, good for you. More shrines, proud of you, happy for you, way to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, we'll see if we draw the Storm's Wrath. That's really all we can do right now. So, if we draw the Storm's Wrath, maybe we could hope for a... Yeah, drawing a land is not what we need there. So we're just going to concede, move on to the next game. Running into five color shrines, that was rough, right? But now we know that we need some... Need some three damage. So I'm going to go ahead. Is there any aura that comes in, deals three damage? That I just kind of glossed over. Like maybe something comes in and it'll do three damage. Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Gains first strike until end of turn would be cool. Mm. And can't block. And I needed to block. Target creature can't block this turn. It's not too bad. Looks like we're just going to keep it how it is for now. And I'll run it one more time. This is already a 26-minute video. I mean, it ran against five color shrines. You know, didn't really get to see too much of what it would be able to do in a normal environment. Five color shrines is... Is that normal for people? Let me know in the comments if you run into five color shrines all the time. And if you remember how it was back in the day, let me know if it's kind of like that. We cannot keep that hand. We can keep this hand. Okay, I'll hold on to the Storm's Wrath, because they keep trying to... When Arena tries to give you something, don't just... Don't just say, that's not what I want. You know, sometimes Arena's trying to help you. It's an algorithmic based system, so... We'll put uh, Milner down. We have escape velocity, but I still haven't drawn it. It's, it sucks so much. <laughs> but I haven't drawn that card. Wow, we have three copies of Reinforced Ronin and haven't drawn that card. Yeah, this the algorithm is trying its best to give me... You, you gotta play some decks quite a bit before. See, like this. This is good. I'm glad that I got to see this man. I 100% forgot that I had to worry about, old boy. Move on to our next turn. Please let me draw another land, because it seems like we're going to be having a real rough time. If you don't know, this that man right there has done some terrible things. Some terrible, terrible things. I'm gonna play him. Hopefully he counters. Sends it to the graveyard. Let's it sit. Okay. Right on. Are you gonna bounce him? I do love this combo. Yes. That is, it is going to be how that goes. Are you going to, he's probably trying to think, am I going to throw hammer, right? Like, am I, am I going to throw hammer and then do this every turn or am I just going to attack and I'm just going to attack? So, but it's like my favorite thing to do is is like do random shit that makes people just kind of be like wait what because <laughs> i easily could have thrown hammer no reason to throw hammer but could have thrown hammer and yes i will continue to say throw hammer <laughs> no, I, won't, I, won't. 
Uh, so they had a discarded card. I have Storm's Wrath in hand. I have Shock in hand. We're gonna Ronin. I wish you could equip that at uh, instant speed. We need to leave some mana open, so I'm just gonna do the same thing, but without attaching the hammer. Is there a... Oh, there is. It's the... There is a mono white legendary creature. I know there's a bunch of them. No, I don't think that she's a legendary. The new one that just came out in Dominaria, is she mono green? Old boy gets to play some lands. That's cool, that's cool. We're gonna reinforce again. Just kind of feel our opponent out. It looks like they have a lot of draw. It looks like they have a lot of a lot of things <laughs> but as long as we can keep getting in with Ronan we should be able to get them down to at least 10 right it's normally when people start trying to work on it but I have shock in hand so as long as we can get a storm's wrath off once they start to go off keep Embercleave in hand honestly keep annex in hand I would love to draw Excuse me. Another Ronin. And an escape velocity. That would probably be the best thing I could draw right now. Ah, you're trying to draw more cards, I see. No. This is kind of whack, because their tempo isn't going how their tempo wants to go. But it'd be like that sometimes. So now we throw Annex down. And now we attach something to Annex. They probably have Bounce. I'm not worried about Bounce. Because that makes them hold on to counters. And then, as long as they have a maximum hand size, they're going to have to pick between drawing and counters. And I'm okay with that. I am okay with living my life along those lines. Most of the time, blue players are not. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I did get the escape velocity. Let's play the Ronin. See how this goes down. Play the escape velocity. Put it on the Ronin. Why, you might ask? Well, because it has escape, it means that even if it goes away this turn, I can play it again. And actually get value out of the fact that all I've done is blow stuff up. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Ooh, nice. Did he just hit a rune? No, he hit Iora's Blessing, but he did also hit. So we'll just play Annex. Right? Escape Velocity goes to the graveyard. Escape Velocity will be played next turn. Hit the Iora's Blessing. If I was him, I'd be looking at my graveyard going, Oh shit, I probably don't want to mill this guy. Alright. Rune of Speed. Putting on the hammer. If he counters this, that's going to be so sad. That means all he has in his hand is... Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Doesn't want me to draw a card. Perfectly fine. Play the Ronin. starting to put it together. He's checking velocity, he's checking all of that. Really all I'm waiting for is to drop a Storm Herald now, right? You create a treasure token, good for you. <laughs> Get the counters out of their hands. Uh, that is one of the main things that Playing with uh, slower tempo decks like equipments and auras will always help you to like gain. Is okay. Cool, cool. Uh, so now, obviously, what we try and do 
is we try and play the Annex. The Annex lives? I'm sorry, what? How did that make it onto the field? Wait a minute, how did that make it onto the field? Also, does Annex count itself? Whenever an Annex or another non-token creature you control dies, create a 1-1. One, one. But this creature can't be blocked. If the creature had four greater power, create two of those tokens instead. So yeah, we're going to be chilling. We're going to be outright chilling. So they're ready to counter. That's what they're ready to do. Here's what I'm ready to do. We're going to... Honestly, if we try and attack, though, I think we can get Ember Blade down. So we play this. See if it resolves. Come on, blue player. I get it. It's not that easy to play control. Especially when you're playing against a mono red Aura's deck that is obviously playing Storm Herald. We'll try and escape velocity. See how that goes. If I were him, what I would do right now is, yeah, okay, I would definitely. Do that. And now we get in. Because the next thing I have to do is just, as soon as I can get in, all I have to do is fling hammer at this man if he dies. So. And we're gonna get nothing but satyrs. Nice. That's really good. The magic mirror here is pretty good. Uh, you have no maximum hand size, which is the most important thing for him right now. Oh, okay. Well, one and one. That's good enough for me for today, so I don't have a 40-minute video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, stay tuned. I'm going to have some more uh, in-depth looks at uh, decks that I've made. Uh, I will 100% put this up here. I'll let you look at it. It's a pretty dumb deck, but dumb decks can be fun. So this is Mono Red Auras. Let me go ahead and grab my enchantments here. I'll put the road in here. Embercleave. I'll put Storm Herald. These are all of our creatures that we're worried about uh, keeping on the battlefield or playing. These are all of our equipments that we're trying to play as far as damage and as far as auras. These are our auras and 24 lands. So the reason I put this guy separate is only because he counts all your other modified creatures. Uh, he counts himself, but he's not like getting any stronger. He's not creating tokens for you at the beginning of combat. He's not bringing back your auras and he doesn't come in constantly. So he's in his own category because if there was any card to drop, it would be this card. And then after that, it was be Iora's Blessing. Uh, but you have my blessing to use this deck and enjoy this deck. Have a great and wonderful day.